today's video tutorial, I'm sharing with you how to insert a fraction or fraction symbols into PowerPoint when you're creating printable worksheets or a PowerPoint presentation for your students. Here we are in PowerPoint. I already have a fraction worksheet created for you where I have fraction models and fraction symbols. I'm going to show you how to insert these symbols into your PowerPoint. A lot of times when you're typing out your fractions, they come out like this where you have to use that slanted bar if you or slanted line on your keyboard. If you use a common fraction like 3 fourths and hit enter, it adjusts, but if you do a fraction that's not as common, it doesn't make that same adjustment. We want all of our fractions to be uniform. So I'm going to show you how to insert those fractions and add the fraction symbol to your toolbar. Let's go to my duplicate slide where I don't have fractions for number three and four, and I'm gonna insert them there. So what you want to do is I'm going to insert a fraction. I'm gonna make create my fraction over here on the side and then slide it over. So I'm gonna start out by going up to the ribbon, going to the insert tab, going over to where it says text box, and then creating a new text box here. In that text box, text box is where I'm gonna insert my fraction. So go back up to the ribbon, all the way over to equation, and click on that menu, that drop down menu. I'm using a Mac, and if you are using Windows, you should have an insert tab as well for inserting equations. Just find insert and drop down to equations. So I'm gonna go all the way down to insert new equation, and then immediately, it says type equation here, it's highlighted. Don't click away yet because it's showing our it's showing our equation ribbon at the top now. If you click away, that goes away. So in the ribbon, now I have a place where I can click on fractions. When I click on that, it gives me more options. I'm going to choose the stacked fraction, the stacked fraction, and it insert it into my text box. So there it is, and then I'm gonna insert my numbers. Let's zoom in so you can see, or you can increase the size of the fraction symbols. So that my top number, my numerator, I'm gonna make one, and then my bottom number is going to be five. And now I'm going to insert that into my worksheet. Before I do that, I'm going to duplicate and adjust the, adjust the text box. So let's decrease the actual size of the text box. One thing to note when you're inserting these fractions, it changes the font to a math font. When you're making symbols, equations, or fractions, it doesn't always use the font that you want. So I have my fraction one fifth. I can create another fraction really fast using the fraction that I already have. So I can always select my text box, right click, copy, right click, paste to get another fraction. I can also select that text box and hit on my keyboard Command D or Control D to duplicate that text box to make more fractions. I could also select the text box, right click with my mouse and then just slide over and that also duplicates my text box. So those are just different options for quickly creating another fractions. Once you do that first one, you can quickly do more. That's what I do sometimes when making different worksheets or lessons. Once I create that first one, I just copy and paste or duplicate my fractions and place them di in different places around the page. So let's zoom out so we can insert these fractions into our printable worksheet. So I'm gonna place my one fifth here for number three. And for number four, I actually want it to be three fourths. So I'm just gonna easily change that denominator and then slide that over down to number four. Number three and four are done. It goes with my problems where the students are gonna have to create another equivalent fraction. I have a word problem that I created. I want to insert fractions into that word problem. So let's zoom in again. I want my fraction to go right here in between these two words. I want to easily click a button and then add in a fraction. I'll click one or two buttons instead of going through that whole process. I know I can copy and paste or duplicate, but let me show you how to insert or add that option to your toolbar. Go to your ribbon and then go above that to your toolbar. Click on these three dots 
and then come down to where it says more commands. Once that loads, you have two sections that show you different options. On the left, you have all the options you need that you could possibly add to your toolbar or ribbon. On the right are the ones that are actually saved to your toolbar. It may be a default from the time when you first started using your PowerPoint. So on the left, I want to insert fractions or I want to insert an equation. I don't see that. It is alphabetical and I don't see that. So what I know is at the top, these are just the popular commands. I want to find all of the commands. So when I click on that, I can see more options and I'm going to go down until I find equation tools. If you don't see that right away, try going to the insert tab and opening up those options. So I'm going to click on equation tools and then it opens up the tabs under equation tools. And then I see fraction right away. So here's my fraction. Clicking on that there does not automatically put it in your toolbar. Now you need to get it pushed over to your customized quick access toolbar. So selected fraction, click that right arrow, and now it's selected and added to your toolbar. If you leave it here, it's going to be on the end of your toolbar. If you want it to be somewhere in the middle or at the front, just move it to where you want it. I'm going to place it after my shapes and then hit save. Once that loads, you will see your fraction button or fraction tab now in your toolbar. Back to our problem, I want to put my cursor here exactly where I want my fraction to go. I'm gonna go to that ribbon, that toolbar, click on the fraction tab and then choose my stacked fraction. And my new fraction is inserted there. I'm going to insert my number. I want two to be my numerator and six to be my denominator. denominator and just gonna adjust the spacing. That's the first fraction and then over here on the end, I want to add in my fraction between these two words. So place my cursor here, go up to my fraction tab, fraction button, choose stacked fraction again, and there it is inserted. And I'm gonna add in my numbers, my numerator, and then use the arrow to go down to my denominator and then just adjust the formatting however you need to and that's it that's how you insert fraction symbols into your PowerPoint when creating printable worksheets or a PowerPoint lesson presentation watch this next video tutorial on how to create more printable math resources for your classroom or students at home see you in the next video